Well, most fathers would do just about anything to help their children, but one devoted Adelaide dad has gone further than most. When his little girl was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, the musician went back to university to become a researcher and search for a clue. In the lab, Nigel Farrow is in his element. Oh, there we go. So it's pretty hard to believe he wasn't always fond of science. In fact, he actually left school in year 10 to pursue a career as a musician. I was quite happy being a musician until the day I died. It's all I wanted to do from when I was uh, in my early teens up until the day I was diagnosed. Nigel's daughter Ella was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when she was 10 weeks old, a life-threatening disease mainly affecting the lungs and digestive system that currently has no cure. But Nigel's determined to change all that. Again, I felt helpless. I didn't think music was going to help her, so I decided to go back to university and, and go down that path. And now at 45, he's finished his studies and is a molecular biologist, working with the Adelaide Cystic Fibrosis Gene Therapy Research Group, world leaders in their field. Most people don't give up careers and don't put themselves through seven years of study to earn a PhD to actually work on a, on a cure for their, for their child's illness. That, that is pretty rare. And the love of his little girl inspires him every step of the way. I'm not sure if she fully comprehends just what it is he's doing, um, but in her own quiet way, I'm sure she appreciates it, yeah. The fundamentals are there. The science is there. It's the funding that we need to get this over the line. He says clinical trials could be just around the corner and vows all his hard work won't stop until a cure is found. If it ends up being the generation after Ella, if we can help other children or other families that are going through the same thing, it's still going to be a fantastic effort. Elise Baker, Nine News.